Today I'm going to talk about one of Goffman's theories, which is face work, face、uh, in interpersonal communication and performance, and is a person's self-esteem and、uh, dignity, and also face is person's self-image. But however, in China, face is very important because face represents one's social status. Goffman describes three levels of face. That influence a person's behavior to suit their facial needs. The first one is the need to satisfy one's desires, is described as pride. The second one is people's emotion and physical attitudes in social interactions, called、uh, dignity. And the last one is an individual's responsibility to a、uh, society is identified as honor. In China, the status and the value of face in Chinese people's social, um, physical, um, psychological life is very important, and、uh, there are many different type of face. Now I'm going to play a video, and this video describes a face type that is face loose. Who is the child? Father. I'm not your father. This is a bad boy. A bad boy. Let's see what you and your daughter did to make a good match. 你不会也怀孕了吧？我，没有，没有。有哪家的女儿，比你更丢人的？我们这个家，到底是做了什么孽 ？So this video shows the face of the Chinese people. Ah,、uh, that is, the、uh, elders should not lose face in front of the younger generation, and、uh, this can be understood as an individual's responsibility to the society, and the elders. Need to set an example for the younger generation. At the same time, the elders hope that the younger generation can achieve a certain degree of success, because the younger generation for the family when older let the elders feel and face. If someone loses face, and someone will still face. For the old man, in order to save his face, he needs to throw his doctor out of the house. The old man was also a professor,、uh, who failed to teach his doctor well enough to embrace him in front of others. This is a facial behavior of Chinese people. That is, every social ruler has a corresponding social morality. If he or his relatives violate the morality, then he will feel loose face. I think this corresponds to Coley's mirror self, where one imagines how one's own words and actions appear in the eyes of others in social interactions, and then imagines how others evaluate oneself and form self-consciousness and generate emotions.